today is Saturday, uh, it's the 18th of June, I keep getting the date wrong, and uh, we've driven over to the far side of the island now, so we're on the east coast, we're in Calador, uh, not often we come over to this part of the island, um, but we've just been to the market in Santani, so we've just made that final little step over to the, the coast, and we've been joined by a friend here, I'm not sure who he is, but somebody's going to tell me, because uh, in this side of the island, in Santani and the villages around this area, they've started to put these characters from films. So in Santani we actually saw Charlie Chaplin, Charlie Chaplin. We've seen the and then Kalonji we saw... The Minions. Oh, did we see the Minions there? Yeah, I, I, I thought I that was something from Harry Potter. And Harry Potter. Harry Potter. So we've seen lots of things already, but uh, this is one up close. <laughs> anyway, we're going to explore a little bit of uh, Calador. I think people expect us to know <laughs> all the different parts of Mallorca. Shall we sit here and have our sandwich? Oh, pie? We can do. We bought a pie at the market. And there's a little shady area for us to sit down. And then we'll go and explore Calador. Just going to carry on walking down here now. Um, past the Madison's, the chairs are all out, but uh, that looks as though they're hoping to open up later on in the evening. A little mini golf over there, let's have a look at the mini golf. That's something we could do with the girls. Yeah. 18 rounds of mini golf. <coughs> so we've got to look after our grandchildren. Uh, Next week, is it? In the week after. Week after. So, looking at things for us to do. So, at the moment, one of the plans is to go to Marineland. And now it's getting a little bit more lively. This is people having lunch. Probably more important, the glasses. So it's definitely getting a bit busy around here. So lots of lots of places to eat. I'm imagining they get busy in the evening. Some of them, the ones that have got shady sides, they're they're busy now. But uh, people don't really want to sit in the in the sun. It's just too hot. to a, <coughs> a jewellery shop on the right and I see the name Pandora and it has uh, had to go into the Pandora shop in Palma. No, in Palma, no, in Porta Peak. In Porta Peak, yeah, in Palma. And um, uh, something had broken off it and she wanted it repaired so she took it in and uh, the girl in, in there said that she'd got a, a museum piece. <laughs> Not, don't make any of my things anymore. Uh, all, all of the Camilla in Porta Peak. All the little Pandora things she's got on there, they're now... Uh, antiques. Antiques. <laughs> Worth a fortune, darling. You need to insure me. Oh, definitely, dear, definitely. So we could have actually come for tapas here. We're going out for dinner this evening. Yeah. We're going to Mai Tai, one of our favourite sort of places to go to. in Parmanova, so I've got to drive back to the other side of the island. Where's the sea? I don't know, we've lost the sea, but I'm guessing it must be this way. Keep going, we're going to get our feet wet. I believe that. Belgica.
run over. We walk down from the uh, the bars, and uh, this is uh, Cala Petita. So, <clears throat> not very knee friendly for me, but here we go. This is lots of steps going down. Uh, Petita. I'm guessing that just means it's the little beach, the little cove. Not too bad the steps, but there's no rail. quite a lot of them. I might switch the camera off until I get down to the bottom. Nearly at the bottom. There's a nice sandy little cove here. And uh, lots of people on the beach, very crowded. And lots of people in the sea too. Not really any shade. We can just walk across to the other side and run. Shade over there. Not planning to stop here for very long anyway. We're going to have a look at the other beach. boats out there on the sea. We've actually done that in the past and uh, sailed around this part of the island, it's really quite nice. And there looks to be in the distance there's a fort. it would be interesting on another occasion to investigate. Sea looks really clear, interesting. We're going to head over to the other side. So back up the steps we go in 32, 33 degrees of heat. <laughs> so yes, I'll uh, switch the camera off. Last look at the beach. Water looking really inviting, but not for us today. So we've just been to the, the little beachy here. We've now walked across here and this is the Cala Gran. This is the Grand Beach, but there's more steps to go down to get to it. So camera off down to the beach. I managed to get down the steps all right and we're now at the Caligran which is the big beach. Uh, we're not quite down at the bottom yet but uh, it just gives us a bird's eye view um, to see that it's not actually a very wide beach but it's a very it's a quite a deep beach so it goes back a long way from the, the sea. In fact you just only just see the edge of the water from where we're standing at the moment. There's a lifeguard on duty there's a green flag out says it's safe to uh, swim in the sea. So we're going to actually um, think maybe just walk to the back of the beach, shall we? She's going to go back up the stepway because she doesn't want to get sand in her shoes. And uh, I'm going to go <coughs> and walk along the beach until I get to the, the back of the beach. So I've got to go down a few more steps and uh, make my way to the back of the beach. I haven't got Nita with me now to so say be careful. <laughs> Now we can see the, the sea, lots of people in the sea. I don't blame them, it's how they're going to get out of this heat. I'm just going to go towards the back of the beach, lots of sunbeds out, lots of people in the sea there and on the beach. And uh, come to the first of the beach bars here, which is well attended. Anita was getting sand when we went onto the other beach, getting a lot of sand in her sandals and she was feeling very comfortable. So, actually, this bit, this little bit's paved actually. Funny if it's paved all the way along, isn't it? We're not really beach people. We don't go to the beach very often at all. Uh, and probably we'd avoid a beach like this just because of the steps. Actually this looks like a bit more of a ramp than steps. Maybe we just came the wrong way. 
get an ice cream, get a burger. Hamburger, five euros. Cheeseburger, five fifty. Various ice creams for two or three euros. More adventurous, you can go scuba diving. Mm. Not for me. I very often get asked how much are the beds to hire. Well, here you've got it. So in the Calador, if you want just a sun bed, it's six euros and five cents. Uh, if you want a bed and a sunshade, it's nine euros sixty-five. If you want two beds, it's going to cost you fifteen euros seventy, and you get the parasol thrown in for nothing. That's per a day. Wow, that could be expensive if you're here for a couple of weeks. The other thing that frequently gets asked is, well, there's showers here. There's also toilets on the beach, and that's really quite important. And on the other side, you've got uh, some more bars and a little gifty sort of shop where you can actually buy a parasol, but that's not going to cost you much more than 15 euros. So somebody did ask, asked me this morning about um, buying a parasol. And if you're going to be here for a couple of weeks and uh, you're thinking of spending a lot of time on the beach, then maybe buying a parasol is the solution. What to do with it at the end? Ditch it, I suppose. I don't like that idea, really. Throw away culture's not good. Pass it on to someone. Oh, so it needs to have gone one way. I've gone the other way. And let's just hope we meet up. So plan A works. Anita should be waiting for me here at the top somewhere. I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm getting a bit puppy. Oh, both up from the beach safely, both met up. We've had a, a drink of water. I've just put a fire out. <laughs> sitting, uh, just sitting uh, across the road from a bin, I could smell burning paper. Um, and then Anita spotted the smoke coming from one of the bins, so I just called in the local bar and filled up a bottle of water. Put the fire out. My good deed for the day. Now Anita said, where are all the shops? Unfortunately, I think we might have found them. What's more important, we might have found some shade. Walking around Calador has been hot. And uh, for me, beaches are not too too accessible really too many hills too many steps and uh, because the beaches are narrow it means the sea gets very crowded so not really what we're used to we go to places like Magalhães and Parmanova and Hagera which have got big wide sandy beaches and uh, oh, I see Anita's here she's found something to buy so yeah, so I don't uh, don't see a nice promenade to walk along either, and uh, it's certainly not a flat area. But it obviously appeals to a lot of people. Uh, lots of hotels here, lots of tourists here, and uh, British, German, mixed with nationalities. I'm just finding too many things. Nita's actually in the shop buying something for the girls and uh, we're just next to a, a boutique a hostel called the Mistral and it actually feels a bit like a Mistral at the moment because there is a quite a gusty wind that's uh, blowing along this street. So what have you bought my dear? What have you got in there? Dress. One? One, oh. One. One oh, for then. Savannah. One for Savannah. <laughs> Sizes. Quite 
breezy, breezy. It's lovely. Look at those trees, those things over there. So many of those sage, sage. Oh. Okay, this is the Santido Hotel and Resort, four stars. It's quite nice, but the the palm trees that are outside actually do have very poisonous fruit that we've been talking about before. So not child friendly or, or animal friendly. Not dogs. Um, a friend of ours, her dog was poisoned by eating the fruit. Sadly died. Well, we did find the shops and some more bars. Ooh, the breeze is picked up again. Just 50% off. So they double the price and then give you 50% off. Right, I'm afraid the shade is going to depart and we've got to walk into the sun. little supermarket here if you are staying in Calador there's a little supermarket here but you only have to go out a little way and you'll come to an Eroski and you'll probably find Eroski is a lot cheaper than the star. We're stopping at perfume shops now Another street there, follow the similar sorts of shops, but we're not going to go down there because we're, we're on our way back. I think we're, we're both a little bit exhausted and uh, it's about, I don't know, well over an hour's drive home from here. So, uh, yeah, we've got that to face, but at least we'll be in an air-conditioned car. <laughs> it will be a little bit cooler. Still trying to find that shade. Well, today actually is Paul McCartney's 80th birthday and what better place to finish our video today than in front of a cabin clock. So we've had an interesting journey over to Calador. It's not really a resort for us, too hilly, uh, particularly going down to the beach. Uh, but interesting, few shops, well we've got lots of shops so lots of things to see. Uh, but we're finishing our video outside the Cavern Club because today is Paul McCartney's 80th, 80th birthday. birthday. Wow, that starts to make us feel a little bit older. So, happy birthday, Paul McCartney. Happy birthday, Paul. <laughs> I'll make Paul <laughs> from Liverpool. 
And I'm not going to sing. Uh, what were you, what were you want to sing? 64. When I get older, losing my head. Many hair. hair. All right. <laughs> Many years from now. That's enough, Mr. Bird. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Thanks you. for watching, and I hope I haven't put you off all the rest of our videos with my little rendition. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. It's the 18th of June, is it? Saturday. Very, very hot. We've end of a heat wave. At least we hope it's the end of a heat wave. And uh, so we've driven out in an air-conditioned car for about an hour to Saint Denis, and uh, we're just going to the markets in Saint Denis. We're going to stop off for a coffee first of all, just to set us up. I think we were last here in uh, November of 2020, and uh, remember it being uh, quite an impressive market then. And uh, that was only shortly after we were coming out of uh, lockdown and there were very, very few people around. So I don't actually remember this bit of the market. So I think it's actually looking as though it's going to be a lot bigger than it was when we were here in 2020. It's actually one of the first videos uh, that we made really, as we started making these videos in 2020. And when I look back, it's um, one of the videos where I introduce it without a knitter on the front. There's a, there's quite a strong smell of incense so walking through. And uh, as we start to enter the main part of the market, you can see starting to get busy very quickly. The music's playing. Truffles and cheese. Put the camera up a little bit. Some of the pastries that I like. And we come to a crossroads, and there are stalls in the front, to the left, and lots to the right. So we'll just head straight on, actually, keeping to the shady areas. Thank you very much to all those who've been asking about uh, Anita. She's uh, she's still not 100%. Well, a lot better than she was a few days ago. Because the streets are so narrow, it's uh, easy to find shady places. This, this street it is.
I seem to remember now. All the fruit and vegetables. Cherries have been wonderful recently, we've had lots of cherries. And radishes too, we've been really enjoying the radishes in my salad. All the wonderful colours here there in the market. See how busy the cafes and bars are. Absolutely full. Everybody looking for a shady seat, so the, the seats that are in the sun. Nobody wants to sit there, it's just too hot. Some um, local wine. There's hamons, cheeses. Super busy, busy, busy. I was looking to see if the door to the church is open, but not that one. Maybe have a little look, walk around the side. So we're just coming to the church and the first part of the church is a, a museum. They asked for a, a two euro donation. So I'm quite happy with that. That's uh, a little bit of respite from the heat. It's nice and cool in here. Church at all. No. This one's new to us. Well, that was the most amazing <laughs> church. Uh, the church itself is really quite beautiful, um, very, very well kept and uh, really interesting to walk around but the organ recital was something totally unexpected and quite wonderful so that 
after after that wonderful organ recital we're back into the market it is a huge market um, when we came last time it was big this time it is huge so much so much to see and uh, I really don't think we're going to get around it all the temperatures are beginning to soar it's getting very 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 warm so uh, we're in, exposed in the sun so we just made a quick pit stop because it's getting very hot out there and uh, we've chosen to go into a bar inside rather than outside because it's air conditioned in here Lovely bar. time for a nice cool drink cheers everyone So the bar we actually chose was Canabao and uh, quite modern inside actually, modern and old all at the same time. A really nice bar, very nice, welcoming yeah. staff with a, an outside terrace should you like a little bit of heat and a, a terrace at the front uh, where some people were sitting outside but much much better inside. Well that was a nice refreshing drink, <laughs> nice to get away from the the heat it was nice to be in there uh, but we just come out and exploring more of the garden this is actually the the restaurant we've just been to the bar really enjoyed the the drink nice and cool refreshing and uh, as the menu Look a bit closer that one's the german version there's the spanish version it's a very uh, german area with lots uh, lots of germans in this particular german-speaking people in this area. Anita must be feeling better, she's um, into shopping mode now. Too hot for me. Nice olive wood there. Coming to Santani, uh, it is a really interesting place uh, to come and <laughs> to market stalls to, to visit. I've just found a little bit of breeze. Just ventured away from the, the market, just going down one of the little alleyways. It's looking at the uh, the construction I'm always fascinated by the way that uh, these old buildings are made on oh, that lovely breeze I'm probably playing havoc with the sound lovely breeze right in front of you just the, all the brickwork is beautifully exposed and that's what it is just rocks taken from the ground If you do come on market day, you'll see lots of the roads are actually uh, closed um, because of the market, and you just have to park somewhere on the outside. So we just found a street parked in it, and we've just walked in. It's not that big, so it's not, you don't have too far to walk, I guess. We're not finished yet, dear. We've not finished yet. We haven't even been to the flea market. There's a big flea market here as well, we might actually miss that. <laughs> well, at least last time we came there was a big flea market, I'm pretty sure there is one here. Just a little bit further. <laughs> Is 
She spotted the uh, the wine shop. <laughs> so we're in Santani, which is near to the east coast, and they, uh, Sorry, the, the 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 artisan shop over there is from Bini Salem. Oh, Bini Salem is a great wine growing area. If you, if you like your wines, then uh, Bini Salem is probably a place for you to go and visit. Um, several wineries there and uh, they do welcome visitors oh look at that oh, that's interesting this is very interesting look there's water here <laughs> this this is an old washing area i'm gonna have a look at that forget the market for the moment so all the old towns and villages used to have these communal washing areas Where the water would be. Come and wash your clothes. Reasonably well kept. Maybe it needs a little bit more work on it. <clears throat> water is obviously a, a precious commodity in Mallorca, and uh, all these hotels, hotels, all these houses will have cisterns underneath them, big tanks where they can collect uh, the rainwater. Oh, I'm guessing they need to drink here. Look at the wine there. Be lucky if she doesn't come out with a bottle of local wine. So yeah, kilometre zero is good. Buy stuff locally and um, we are lucky that Mallorca produces some really good wines. So we don't need to buy wine from anywhere else. You know, they actually sell wine from Australia here, they wine from Chile, all of these places. And I know they make great wines, but they make great wines here too. And, uh, so we tend to drink a lot of uh, Spanish wine, but a lot of Mallorquin wine too. So as you might expect, um, I need to manage to buy... Um, we managed to buy, it was a joint effort. Uh, so we got two bottles, no, three bottles. One of them, a local bottle, came straight out of the, uh, the barrel and was um, two euros. <laughs> two euros. But we did have a sample, we did have a taste. Um, the first, first mm -hmm, taste wasn't sure, but actually it grew on me. So, so we've had a bottle. So, we've had a bottle of grown so for, for two euros, Hey, and that included the bottle. My goodness, and the cork. So, and uh, and their local wine, so that's really good. And all we've got to do now is carry it back to the car without spilling or drinking a drop. Can you manage? I can manage. So, as the lady says, it's not summer yet, it's only spring. <laughs> But I, uh, I do regularly record the thermometer, and uh, this is not such a. I need to go this way. I think we'll go this way. I don't know the way. I'm guessing all the time. I get to at home. I need that. I get at home. Need a new hat. This may be the way we came. I can't even remember. But. Uh, one of those markets you can easily get lost in. So the highlight of today is, has to have been the church with the most amazing organ recital. And uh, while we were in, the, in there, Anita was uh, sending messages to some of her friends and uh, one of them suggested uh, that we, we try Alaro. So that's on our agenda now. Uh, we'll go up to Alaro where they have uh, organ recitals as well, concerts. And that's a village we've not been 
for a walk around at all. It's one of those places, I think actually I may have stopped in Alaro. Um, since we've been up to Alaro Castle, I'm not sure we're going to be doing that at the moment. It's just way too hot for, for any of that sort of thing. be getting close to time for shutting up shop. We're still nowhere near the car. We'll keep walking until we find it. <laughs> nice basket with it there. And here are the lettuce. <laughs> we, could do here. We, did, we did actually go past a very nice pie and bread stall, which is right in front of us. So do you want to get a pie from here? Is that lunch? So you want one with peas in it? No, not really. No? And some pasty type ones there, they're vegetables. So we're now all loaded up with pies and water and wine. And uh, we're going to head back towards the car. So we've got so much we've had to sort ourselves out to carry stuff. Uh, got a bit of a walk now down to the car. It's not too far actually, so we should be alright. But um, cars at the moment uh, in this sun get incredibly, incredibly hot inside. I think I've seen a picture of somebody cooking a, cooking something on their dash, <laughs> dashboard. It's on a tray. It contained eggs, and uh, it was cooking away nicely. And uh, if you don't park your car in the shade, which is quite often the case. Well, we might have been in the shade, but then the sun moves, doesn't it? And you're no longer in the shade. So we do put a, a sun visor in, one of these reflective things. Uh, it does help a little bit. It's still going to be roasting in the car. Nice little park area here. Oh, it's going to do in the next one around. So we're just going to walk. Oh. So just walking down a little bit further. H E R E. This is a Casa Cultura culture place, which is not open at the moment. So, Casa de Cultura. Maybe it is open. There's a lot of lights on inside. There's obviously a lot to see here in Santani, and we, on a hot Saturday morning, are not going to manage it all. So there's some good news, we've got to come back and uh, quite actually like somebody. It's a bit too sunny there. We'll have to find somewhere else. Anyway, I think what we should do is just uh, finish the video. Well, we are going to head back to the car now. It's roasting and uh, 
we've had a really enjoyable morning in the in the market here but yeah. particularly in the church wonderful uh, that but was. we'll definitely come back so thanks very much for watching if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button because it does help us and uh, you can hit the like button as well too if you thought it was good and we look forward to seeing you in the next video so bye for now and we even got some wine bye <laughs> bye bye